Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another Tinkercad Designer Showcase. So let's get cracking. Friends, I am starting from my website, hlmodtech.com. It has got a page dedicated to Tinkercad, tons of amazing lessons, and also the built in messaging tool. Friends, you can click that button, add your information, and reach out to me almost instantly. On this same page, we also have a link to the Tinkercad Community Discord. Friends, it is a fantastic place to talk everything Tinkercad. And then finally, under the Designer Showcase button, there is the Nuclear Reactor where you can actually request your own shout-out, and that is how this user reached out to me. Alrighty, friends, so with all that out of the way, let's check out our amazing design. Paste it in a share link. Friends, this is a large one, so it takes a moment to load. This is from KV Springtrap. Of course, from now on, I'm going to call him Springtrap because it's much easier to say. Friends, we have got a Titanic as it sunk. How amazing is that? All right, friends, so Springtrap absolutely crushes these designs and I love that he adds the notes to help us along. So this is a realistic model of the wreck of the RMS Titanic at around 4 a.m. on April 15, 1912, just two hours after the Titanic sank. Please remember that this is the resting place of 1,496 people that unfortunately passed due to the sinking of the Titanic. It is encouraged to show respect to the souls that rest here, although this is a 3D model. Remember that it is a real wreck. The last song played on board was Nearer My God to Thee. There's a YouTube link to it. This is not the movie version, but instead the real song. Please enjoy examining this model, knowing I've given my best effort. And of course, there's an epic seal of authenticity on the bottom. All right, friends, so let's walk through these notes. The distance is almost a half a mile and they are 12,000 feet under the surface. I'm going to click on the bow section and let's do F to fit view and you can check out how amazing the bow section is. This is the bow section debris. It is comprised of parts of the ship that are located forward of the third funnel. Let's skip up here and check this one out. This is a hole where the grand staircase was. None of the woodworking survived and collapsed when the stairs were flooded. Right here is part of the wheelhouse helm. This is all that remains of the Titanic's navigational wheelhouse and bridge. This is the collapsed forward mast. It fell back shortly after the bridge was blown away by the force of the water as that section descended. And then up near the front is the anchor crane pulley system and the anchors. They are still in pristine condition. That is so amazing. Love what you did up here with this terrain as well. Out here in the front we have the number one hatch. It was blown off by pressure when the bow section struck the ocean floor. That is amazing. I'm going to click on the back section and let's use F to zoom back there as well. This here is the back mast. It collapsed while the stern was twirling towards the ocean floor. This is why the stern is facing the opposite direction of the bow. This is the exposed engine. What once powered the Titanic became exposed when the area around the third funnel ripped away from the stern and fell apart. Check out the detail down here on the sides. These are exposed passenger cabins. Became exposed when the side of the stern section's starboard side ripped away from the ship. And over here, this is what remains of the superstructure and hull around the third funnel, also mixed with starboard walls and stern sections. And as we spin around, friends, these are the two cranes that came off the stern. So there you have it, friends. That is the wreck of the Titanic by Springtrap. Oh my gosh, incredible stuff. Springtrap had already built the Titanic, so it only took him about two days to finish this part of the project. He used lots of asteroids and then also squares to make the wreckage and make it turn out so darn sweet. There are an estimated 1,600 parts in the project, but right now as it's grouped, but right now as it is grouped, there are a verified 142 pieces. I'm gonna zoom in again on the front of the ship. And I just want to say once again, Springtrap, amazing work and a fantastic tribute to all the people that were lost when the Titanic went down. Alrighty friends, so if you ever make something awesome like this cool beginner's house that I shared today and you want to share it with me, all you do is click on this button right here, 
generate a link, copy that link, and then you can reach out and share it with me. I am HL Mod Tech on Facebook, Instagram, Gmail, and TikTok. And you can also find me on Twitter. I am HL Tinkercad. If those options don't work for you, don't forget you can also visit hlmodtech.com. It is my website with the cool Tinkercad page. And then down at the bottom, there is the sweet built-in message tool. Friends, you can click that button, add your information, and reach out to me almost instantly. Of course, friends, you could also use the Tinkercad Community Discord or the pages under the Designer Showcase. And then finally, if you want to create that absolutely beginner house, you can find the link right there. Of course, friends, we got to end by saying thank you so much, Spring trap for sharing your amazing wreck of the titanic and of course friends if you enjoyed this video please give it a like please also hit that share button so more people can learn about hl mod tech of course if you got a question comment or suggestion add it down below and if you haven't subscribed yet what are you waiting for smash that subscribe button and last but not least hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when this brand new video from me hl mod tech thanks for watching have a great day